This is Fragments of Memory, a.k.a. the Armchair Philosopher. And I'm responding to a Testazil Ghetto Serrano, Ghetto Wisdom quote. I saw it on, on Facebook. And I can't really quote him verbatim, but he basically said, a lot of people talk about the whole no snitching thing. You know, don't be a snitch, you know, don't be snitching. And um, apparently he's talking about how like, you have brothers in the hood where it's obviously a heavily impoverished area and these brothers is straight stunting you know they 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 got the nice ride they got the nice clothing they got the nice shoes they got the jewelry they blinged out they got the rims and and living in the in the worst type of just filthy or at least heavily impoverished neighborhood and then he's rolling around walking like lifestyles of the rich and famous but then they he then when he gets busted when he goes to jail, he's talking about some. Hey man, who snitched? Somebody done snitched on me. And the reality is, no, you snitched on yourself. Now when I saw the quote, I I I laughed. I laughed my behind off. I really did. I was like, hmm. And I just began to just really think about that. Like, do we tell on ourselves? We we tell on ourselves. We, we bust our own selves sometimes. Sometimes no one has to snitch on you. Your behavior discloses itself. It tells on itself. No one has to tell on you. No one has to put you on blast. You put yourself on blast. Because as the nice good brother, Mr. Ghetto Cyrano, he pointed out that he straight up pointed out the police also noticed that you're stunting and showboating and grandstanding. And I find that to be true with us as black men, black women too, but as black people, we have a tendency to want to showboat and grandstand. Like we gotta we gotta just put it all out there. We gotta we gotta come out, we gotta come hard, we gotta come big, we gotta show you what's up. Like, yeah, what's up, what's up, yeah, and all of this. And the reality is Sometimes you don't always have to be recognized. You don't always have to come out. That doesn't mean don't stand up for yourself if someone were to attempt to use you as a doormat, but it does mean you ain't got to put yourself out there like that. You merely state who you are and you move on. Look, my name is Bob and I'm done. Not I got to be out there. I got to show out. I got to I got to put my I got to front out. And as an old expression, uh, showing your ass, so to speak. I, <laughs> wow. I caught this other YouTube video by the Lou 28, and he just talked about, and there was this black lady going off, and she went plum off. On camera, went off. And then, <laughs> she's like, and he can MF him, and this, that, and the third. And then she says, you know what, you can kiss my, you know what. And then she bent over in the camera, Pulled down her pants and showed her bare behind. Like, whoa! I was just like, wow. Like, do we really got to like be out there? Why do we have to be so over the top and dramatic in situations? How about we be low key? What's wrong with having having it all or having it together and not having to broadcast it? Sometimes it's better to be quiet and be silent. To to know that you've done this and done that, but you don't have to tell everybody. Or make sure that everyone else knows about you. Because usually when someone when someone is 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 quote unquote stunting and flossing and representing, they are they have nothing, but they're trying to show off that they have something. You can be quietly effective without having to put on a parade every time you do something. Look at me. Do, 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 do. You know, like, no, we don't need a marching band every time we do something. Let's just do something. Do it. Do the good. Do the right. And I would say pleasing the creator in order to please the creator because you know he sees you. As opposed to pleasing the people around you because people's opinions change. People are fickle. And, 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 they, and they're very capricious and, and whimsical. Too often. So 
that's my viewpoint right there. It's just, I'm not saying do crime and don't tell it, you know, do crime, do crime. But I'm saying that if you are in a position where you are doing that sort of thing, don't broadcast it because eventually you will, you're going to get caught. My, my thing is don't do anything shady. However, if you're going to do something shady, don't make, don't, don't broadcast and flaunt it and fl and fl and flail it about as though you're important. Because I think too often in our culture, image, we're, we're all about image. We're all about looking like we got something when we may not have anything. And that's that wonderful thing called glamour. And that, why do, you think, do you know glamour back then you used to mean put a, to cast a spell on someone? To, to charm someone, to put some type of enchantment or in, you know, enchantment on somebody or charm on someone. And now we look in the magazines and we talk about glamour. Glamour magazine, them women don't really look like that. They fronting, they flossing, they stunting. They're, 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 they're representing, but they're not really representing. It's just emptiness. Like, 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 like a good old, good junk food. Empty calories and no filling. <laughs> so there you go that's my view on that and thank you for tuning in be easy like sunday morning